Hey guys, it's John from the VisiCast. We have an amazing battle report today. We have Liam's Eldar versus Darren's Ultramarines. Um, so 2,000 points, let's jump into it. Right, hi guys. Uh, today I brought along my Sime Han Elder. Um, it was a little bit more fluffy as a list than this, and then I decided I wanted to bring some more units to see in eighth for the first time, units I haven't used yet. So uh, today we've got a patrol detachment, a supreme command detachment, and a super heavy auxiliary detachment. I know some people will scream that I've lost out on command points, but I haven't got a codex, so I don't think they're quite so important for me. Uh, in the patrol detachment, we've got a Farseer on a jet bike, so a Farseer Skyrunner. He has no other upgrades, and I have given him Guide and Doom. Uh, then we have five Wraith Guard, all with D scythes. They are inside a Wave Serpent that's got an underslung Shuriken Cannon, Twin Link Scatalazers on the top. I know the cannons are better, but this is what I had in seventh, so we're still going WYSIWYG. And it's got Vectored Engines, Spirit Stones, and Crystal Targeting Matrix. Uh, I've got two squads of three uh, Elder Wind, Wind Rider jet bikes. Each has got a Shuriken Cannon in. Then I've got a Crimson Hunter. I've not taken the Exarch because I've just discussed with Darren. It's pretty pointless, I think, for an extra 40 points. Also, I've got a Hemlock Wraith Fighter. Um, he's got Enhanced Drain and they come with Spirit Stones. Uh, then in my Supreme Command Attachment, we've got a second Farseer. He is on a jet bike and has a Singing Spear. He has uh, Doom and Fortune. And then we have two Warlock Wind Riders. One has Conceal Reveal, the other one has Enhanced Drain. Finally, we have a Super Heavy Auxiliary Detachment because I wanted to bring the big guy. I know they've taken a massive nerf since 7th edition, but I want to see how they perform, see if he can't do some work. He has got the Ghost Glaive and Scatter Shield because that's the one I had in 7th, and I still think that's probably the better loadout, but we'll soon find out. Okay, uh, so it's bringing back the Ultramarines, so the first game for them in 8th edition. Had a bit of a disaster. We just worked out when I laid everything out that I'd actually got the points completely wrong and was over, so we had to do a lot of changing around for the list that I've brought today. So, um, I've taken a Vanguard Detachment. Uh, that's led by a Captain with a Power Fist. Uh, there are two squads of Terminators, one of the Assault version and one of the Tactical Terminators uh, with the Cyclone Terminator missile launcher on it. There is a Stern Guard squad who are all stock with the normal special, special issue ammunition and a sergeant with a power fist. We have a tactical squad, which has a plasma gun and a las cannon in it, as well as a sergeant with a power fist. We have a venerable dreadnought in a drop pod. Um, we have a land raider redeemer with the extra multi melter on the top. Uh, there is a rhino for the stern guard, I forgot to mention as well. And then lastly, we've got Gulliman to just manage to get painted up ready for today. Okay, so here is our deployment. The deployment type is Hammer and Anvil. Um, who got to pick the deployment type? It was you, Liam, wasn't yeah, it? I did, yeah. So Liam picked the deployment type. Everyone has placed, as you would have seen, and Darren placed the last model, so he has currently got first turn. I'm going to quickly walk you through where the objectives are placed. So if we start from the right-hand side of the board, Liam, do you want to talk us through what we got? Uh, objective four is over here by the statue. Yeah. Uh, three, Darren placed out in the open, in the middle of, well, middle sort of area of the courtyard kind of looking place. Yeah. Two's over here by the barrels and containers. At the top there, yeah. Uh, number six is just down in front of you here, in front of those big, uh, like, container and transport -y things. Yeah. Uh, we've got five over here on the sort of modified fortress. Yeah. And then number one is over there on top of that little piece of scenery there. Cool. The mission type, basically, uh, you only generate tactical objectives for... Um, points that you control. So, for example, if Liam holds two, he will generate two cards at the start of his turn. I believe you do control two, so yep. that's that. But obviously, we do need to get over to seizing the initiative. That's a role that needs to happen, and we're going to do that on camera. Oh. So, we're not doing it in um, in Guybrush, the name of the, the tray. Um, it's always been called that. But um, we are going to roll. So, Liam, in the middle, let's do it. Oh! <laughs> First roll of the channel. These two have never played each other. Um, Darren already doesn't look happy. That's a record for Darren. I was sort of sitting there thinking, it's a record. Six, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If he does, oh, yeah. He's going to re-roll. To be yeah, fair, yeah. we've already spoken. It doesn't happen that. Neither of us know what the hell we're doing with you, Darren. So. 
That is true. Really so so these guys haven't played each other before. This is Darren's first time playing Ultramarines, and yeah, Liam, you're oh, as in in eighth. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and this is Liam's second time playing Eldar and 8, so there might be a few things wrong, um, but if there are, just let us know. Also, a few shout outs, quick things. Um, I just want to give a shout out to, I don't even know anymore, there's too many. We are sponsored by War Games, as you would have seen, basically discount miniatures, so they are linked below, make sure you check them out. Also, just here, you can see some VisiCast branded scenery. That is provided by the XLC. There is a link below. Please check it out. If you buy some of that stuff, it will uh, greatly help us. And if you can take just a second to like, comment, and subscribe, or share it with your friends, do anything you can just to help the videos. That would be absolutely fantastic. So, we are going to get over to Eldar Turn 1. Is there anything you want to say? Yeah, like you want to say something. What do you want to say? Okay. Sass. Yeah. Um, so, Eldar turn one, let's do it. Eldar turn one, uh, on the first turn you only generate one card, and then subsequent turns you will generate cards depending on how many objectives you hold. Liam's gotten quite lucky, he's got supremacy, obviously there hasn't been much movement, so it's fairly easy for him to jump on top of stuff. Liam, do you want to talk us through your movement, what's going on? Yeah, okay, so the first thing we did was we moved the Wave Serpent forward and we advanced it. We did. I rolled a lowly one and I've already spent one of my four command points, because I haven't got many reasons to spend them, to re-roll that and give it four to put me in range of objective two. Didn't really uh, three, need to, yeah. uh, three, sorry. I didn't really need to do that, because um, I've got enough stuff holding another objective for supremacy, but I want those Wraith Guard close as fast as possible. Yeah. Just chucked it forward to see what happens, because that means when they get out next turn, they might have a chance of uh, doing some serious damage. Uh, one thing I did want to mention, uh, Darren forgot to put down his Land Raider. It didn't turn the amount, change the amount of drops, but the Land Raider is there with the Assault to turn him inside. You wouldn't have seen that prior. Uh, right, so that's that move. What else have we got? Uh, the bike stayed put over in the far corner, because I hold an objective one. The Wraith Knights move forward in the midfield. Um, I have no idea how he's going to operate in 8th, so I just thought we'll throw him forward as fast as possible. What else can you do? Yeah. Um, the Seer and two Warlocks have moved into the midfield here. Uh, the Seer's got in range for Doom, he's got Doom and Fortune, the Warlock's got Guide and Doom. Yeah. Um, and the, the Warlocks we've spoke about anyway. Uh, these bikes have jumped up onto this objective, I'm just guaranteeing supremacy basically, and they might sit there for future objectives. Yeah. Uh, the Warlords moved up behind the uh, Visicast branded dice rolling tower. What's that? Uh, the Visicast branded dice rolling Sorry, tower. Sorry, didn't catch me. Say that again. Uh, the Visicast branded dice rolling tower. Available below. It yeah. Is, yeah. Um, so he's moved up behind that. You know, the Visicast branded dice rolling tower. Too much. <laughs> and the two flyers have pushed forward. Uh, the Hemlock, I've got him just in range of the Land Raider. The Crimson Hunter has pushed a bit further forward anyway, because um, Elder Flyers are amazing for maneuverability. One thing I will mention is I said enhanced drain on that Hemlock. It's actually Conceal Reveal, I said the wrong power, it's my fault. I spent ages trying to think of the power and got the wrong one anyway. Because you're a douche. It is what it is. Um, so that's all your movement, correct? That is my movement. You so do what? currently score um, Supremacy, well, not much is going to change. Well, yeah. Um, so, Psychic Phase, yeah? It is indeed, yeah. What are you going to cast, mate? Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cast Fortune from that Seer onto the Wraith Knight. So okay. Fortune onto the Wraith Knight on 7. Yeah. Uh, he's got that on 9. He has. Um, and Darren's got no psychic, so we can't stop that. So Indeed. Wraith Knight's got fortune. Yeah. The Seer's second power will be um, Doom onto the Land Raider. Yeah, the Land Raider's here. Okay. Yeah. That's also a warp charge value of seven. Yeah. Uh, no, his, he that was six, six. But with his um, Ruins of the Fast here, he can reroll a single dice for a psychic phase. Okay. Ah, Again, six. six. Fails. Okay. So there's no Doom on that Land Raider. That's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, this Seer here will guide the Crimson Hunter. Okay, yeah. Which is here, it's a 24 inch range, so he's well within. And yeah. again, seven for the Sears. Uh, oh, six. Fail. He will Do you get to re -roll? Runes Yeah. And gets it on oh, seven. Just, just. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is this Warlock here with the Conceal Reveal is gonna conceal. So these three bikes just end up with a bit of a bonus to negative to Darren's shooting. Yeah, he's concealing uh, that himself. That is on six. Uh, five, oh. he doesn't get to, uh, to have any sort of runes. This yeah. is going really well. And then finally, the hemlock's going to conceal as well. Okay. So it's the same bubble, but for the two. Oh, what does conceal do? Conceal means it's minus one to hit the psyker or all infantry and bike units within three inches. Okay. So it won't matter for the uh, Crimson Hunter, but it will matter for the hemlock. I see, yes, because he is a psyker. Oh, you know. uh, he does get on eight. Uh, it's an eight, yes. So that's that past. Is that the end of your psychic phase? That probably is the end of my psychic phase. Sweet. Yeah. We'll get over some shooting. 
So the shooting phase, Liam, what you got? We've got minimal shooting this turn because I've not got much range of bikes now. We took a massive hit with points, so not as much firepower as before. Yeah. Essentially, my primary goal is going to be to try and wreck that Land Raider or at least ah. debilitate it enough. Okay. Uh, flames on cannons obviously auto hits, auto hits still auto hit flyers, so I'm trying to stop that from happening. Oh god, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. So uh, the first thing we'll do is fire the Wave Serpent's Shuriken Cannon at it. That's three shots. It advanced. It's an assault weapon, so it's minus one to hit. Okay. Just hit it on fours. Uh, we hit twice, which is pretty good. Uh, it's only strength six against toughness eight, so it's going to wound on fives. Eight. Yeah, it is toughness eight. Uh, so we get two. Waves. Oh wow! Double However, five. It has zero minus AP at five. It only gets best. Uh, better What's the Land Raider's armor? Two. two. Nice. Oh wow! Well, Double six. I'm hoping he's wasting all those now. Cool. So the next thing we'll do is we'll fire the Hemlock's heavy D size at the Land Raider. Yeah. It's got two heavy D size. They're D three shots each. So 2d3 for a total of, uh, I'm going to re-roll one of those. Okay. Command point. Yeah. Looking through them. So we've got three hits on the Land Raider. This is automatic. Is it? They're three auto hits. Mm -hmm. They are strength 10, AP minus four. So three is to wound. Two damage each. So two wounds, AP minus four gives Darren two six up saves. Have a five and a four. He fails both, they're two damage each. That brings him down by four wounds to 12 in total. Cool. And then finally we'll fire the Crimson Hunter at his Land Raider. So first of all is the Pulse Laser. Crimson Hunter's here and obviously is guided from the CS, so he's twin linked essentially. Cool. Or old money twin linked. Yeah. So he hits on threes because it's a heavy weapon and he moves, they both hit. Uh, they are strength eight, the Land Raider's toughness eight, so it's fourth wounds. Uh, no wounds, and Double I didn't get Doom off, so I can't re-roll those. Indeed. And we've got two Bright Lances, same again. Where are these from? Oh, from the Crimson. Same, same uh, yeah. Fire. Three's to hit. So we've got two hits. Again, fours to wounds, so we need that again, really. Oh, no. No, nothing. That was horrific. It was. Uh, that's it done, pretty much. That's me. all of your shooting? Yeah. Do you have any assaults? No. End of your turn. Yeah. So you have secured uh, supremacy as we discussed in the uh, movement phase, which is all good. So you need to roll. So roll in Guybrush. <laughs> oh, that's when you needed it. Well, it's better, yeah. I would have liked to see so more wounds off that. I think. That is three victory points to the Eldar in turn one, which I move over to the Ultramarines for their turn one. Okay, we are on Ultramarines turn one. Darren has drawn Defend Objective 2, unfortunately for him. Nowhere near as lucky as Liam. Uh, it is currently controlled by Liam, so he won't be getting that. But other than that, Darren, do you want to talk us through your movement? Yeah, sure. Um, so I've brought some stuff down. The Stern Guard have appeared over here um, with the intention of trying to slay the Warlord. Uh, over to your left, John, you'll see that the Tactical Terminators have arrived down here. No prizes for guessing what they're going to plan to shoot at. Yeah. Um, the, the down here, the, tact <laughs> the tactical squad has come round in its rhino, and the captain is following. Oh, he's uh, just behind. Yeah. Sorry, oh, I'll show you that. There he is. Okay. Uh, the land raider has moved a bit forward, as well as the dreadnought. Cool. Okay, we should get over some shooting. Right, Darren, we're starting our shooting. What have okay. you got? Um, we're going to fire the stern guard at the um, Farseer, and we're going to use a command point for masterful marksmanship. Mm -hmm. uh, use this stratagem when a stern guard squad is selected to attack in the shooting phase. Add one to all rolls to wound for that unit's special issue bolt gun attacks in that phase. Nice. Okay. Are you so, ready to roll? Roll this one with your other hand first. Your this is for claiming that... Um, that Command point back. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yeah, let's see if I can get it back. So, he gets it back. Nope. One, so he doesn't get it back. So, basically, every time Ultra means expend a command point, you roll a dice on it. Is it five plus? Yeah. You get that command point immediately so, back, essentially. Yeah, so, Ultra means Warlord trait. Yes. Okay. Okay, so rolling to hit. Three is to wound, minus two using special uh, issue ammunition. He's got a four plus and vulnerable, so it doesn't make a difference. Ah, oh, I see, fair enough. Oh, great. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. Cool. Six wounds? Six yeah. four plus saves, my friend. Six four plus available saves? That it's enough to kill him. It's enough to kill him. If Liam is extremely unlucky, which I hope we he is. We do with being we a bit unlucky. my shooting phase. Do it, do it, do it. No, no, he passes uh, so he all saved one, two. all but two, but his um, wall of traits tenacious survivor from the wall book, so six right. ups, these are ignored as well. Yeah. No, because he no. takes two wounds. Down to four. 
Has it got five wounds or it six? It has a total of five wounds. Oh, okay, so it's down to three. Okay. There's a storm bolter inside here that's going to fire as well. Yeah, just in the drop pod. Here yep. we go. It's four shots because it's in rapid fire. Yeah. Hitting on threes. Winning on fours. fours. One, one wound. wound. One more four plus save, please. Passes. Yeah, Okay, so the tactical squad here. Missiles are going into the uh, race night and the storm bolters going into the jet bikes just up there. Okay. I'm guessing we're on the storm, storm bolters. bolters. Hang on, threes. It's quite a nice roll. And then you're wounding on fours. I'd rather have wounded the um, faster this many times. Fours. One, two. Seven. Cool, we have seven four plus saves from Liam. So you can wipe the squad. He can indeed. There's only six wounds in total because bikes are now two wounds each. They are, yeah. But they only have four up saves now. Uh, so he's going to kill one, all of them. Two and a half. Yeah, so one's oh, left on one wound. Two wounds each. Yeah, okay, cool. crack missiles, Wraith Knight, threes. Fours. Oh, sorry, fours indeed because he moved heavy weapon. One hit. Yeah. No wounds. No wounds. Okay, everything in that land raider just there going into the Crimson Hunter. Okay, so two Flamestorm cannons is 2d6. They auto hit, yeah. Yeah, but we need to know how many hits. Yeah, there. I know, yeah. Uh, seven. Yeah. Not bad. Four's the wound. Just the two. Two wounds. Uh, AP is minus two, I believe. Yeah. So it's two five up saves from the Crimson Hunter. Uh, one makes it, one fails, so it loses two, two damage, I believe. Cool. What's next from the... Uh, uh, it's an multi-melter. Yeah. You want this, mate. Yes, hits. Okay. Yes. Three to wound, wounds. wounds. Uh, minus, minus four, four so yeah. no Three save. Eight. So 2d6, six, pick the highest. Oh, is it 2d6? Oh, because you were close yeah. enough. Yeah. Wow. Uh, six. six damage in one hit. <laughs> that is pretty impressive. How many wounds has it got left? Uh, it's got a lot less than it had. Uh, it's now got four wounds remaining. So that's 12 to begin with. Yes, so your assault cannon will probably now do the job. Okay, uh, and Gulliman, how many shots? You could have re-rolled. You haven't missed any yet, have you? Because yeah. you're re-rolling to hit and to wound. Oh, am I? Okay. Yes, Gulliman. That's yeah. what he does. Never mind. Um, uh, <laughs> so how many shots? I'll take that. Tactical genius. How we many? have the assault cannon going into the same um, model. It is 12 shots, strength 6. We realised we should have re-rolled with the Flamestorm, but never mind. Yeah, we did. Hit them fours. Yeah, fours with re-rolls. With re-rolls. Well, well, you can't re-roll the three, so modifiers are applied afterwards. Yeah. So you do all your rolls and then you do the modifiers. Up, yes. Uh, there you go. So now we apply the modifier. Minus one because it's flying. With these fours to wound. Re-rolling everything. That's a healthy six, seven. Right, we have our saves minus one, so they're going to be four pluses. Yeah, uh, I think it might die. Yeah. Ooh, oh, no. One, two, three. How many damage? Just one each, or is it two? One damage each, I think, the assault cannon. Yeah. Which okay. means it's down to a single wound. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, you haven't, have you got any more on that? Uh, no, no, that's, that's it on that. Okay, what's next, Darren? Uh, Gulliman's going to shoot at the same target. Yeah. 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 Cool, so Gulliman firing everything he's got into the same target, hope to take it down. Hit on twos. All hit. Sorry, hitting on threes, minus one, because it's fine. Uh, to it wound. It's string six. Right, so that. fours. Uh, and it's Three. minus one as well. Yeah, and he's re-rolling. So re-roll the two, because of Gilliman's ability. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four plus saves from Liam, otherwise it's gone. Come on, Liam. They really like. wanted to sell lots of Gilliman models, didn't they? <laughs> yes, they did, my friend. That's that one gone. is outside of guys. Does rush. it explode? No. Uh, no, it rolls five. Cool, it's okay. Dead, dead. That so is first, first blood. blood. Boom, shakalaka. Um, and we'll see what's coming up next. Our okay, next. the venerable dreadnought up here was going to fire at the hemlock wraith fighter. However, it's minus three because it's a heavy weapon. He has conceal and he has fly. He is instead going to shoot at the um, thing, wave serpent, rolling to hit on a four with re rolls. However, he can't re roll because it's a three. Okay. okay, we have Stormbolt and the Rhino firing at the Wave Serpent, hitting on fours. Rerolling ones, thanks to the captain stood just behind the Rhino. On to wound, fives. Yes, One wound, wound on the um, Wave Serpent. Three plus. Yeah! Fine. One thing we did forget, again, um, so 
I didn't know this, this is really cool. Terminate units, each Terminate unit gets a teleport homer it can place at the start of the battle in your deployment zone. We didn't place them then, we just remembered we're gonna do it now, wouldn't have affected anything. Got one here, one there. Teleport homers mean uh, at any point during the game, a um, Terminate unit can use an emergency teleport and move onto that teleport homer. So for example, Darren, who has placed his Terminators over here, he could teleport back into his own deployment zone if he needed to. They are deactivated, however, if any enemy model moves within nine inches of the teleport homer. I think that's cool and I didn't know that existed. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we are in the charge subface. These guys are going to charge yeah. them. Okay, cool. Or him. If we go over here. And these guys are going to charge him. Yes, so if we do the stone guard first, see what their range is to charge. Okay, are you going to overwatch? Yep, I'll overwatch with his uh, shuriken catapult. This so is this. Sixes. Okay. Yep. Uh, no sixes. Okay, um, so we know that it's nine inches away, yeah, so we know exactly I need an eight. It's exactly nine inches. Yes, no, correct. Be over nine. Well, it is over nine. So, so you need nine. You need. Okay, so yeah, we need nine. Essentially, yeah. Six, seven, eight. Oh! Just out. You could you could use a command point. Yeah, I think I will. So we got a six, and I'm going to use a command point for a reroll. Devil's advocate. Ah, uh, doesn't so pass. Anyway. Do I get that command yes, point roll back? Yes, roll it. Five, five plus. It's outside of guy brush reroll. Okay. No. So one, no, he doesn't. Bet you I don't get any back. Oh, um, okay. So these guys are going to go for him. He's going to yeah, shoot. Yeah, he will shoot his shuriken cannon on sixes. Uh, he hits once. Mm -hmm. uh, his strength six, uh, three to wounds. Uh, wounds. And it's minus nope, three. Not unless it's a six. Oh, six, to oh, six, six to wounds, yeah. so it's a two up. Ha! This is a wound. Ha! Okay. Uh, see if you're in, Darren. No. Six, seven, and he can't reroll because he's used his reroll. Yeah. Okay, we are going to summarise the. Oh no, nothing was in. I was going to say we're going to summarise it. Nothing happened. We got a battle shock there. We do have a battle shock. So a battle shock on the lone biker back there. Let me find out what his leadership value is because I know it's not very good. Seven. Roll first because if it's a one or two, we'll just ignore it. Three. Three. Uh, I think he passes. I think he passes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he does because he's only lost fine. two guys. Okay, so he's fine. Uh, in terms of objectives, unfortunately, uh, Darren obviously wouldn't score Defend Objective 2 until the end of Liam's turn, which is the next turn, two, two consecutive turns. But he is not on it. Are you going to keep that or discard it? Uh, I think it's going to be too much of a pain in the ass. You can, however, you can have a maximum of six objectives, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you currently hold one, two, well, actually, that's contested. So we currently hold one. So you're only going to generate one. You gain literally nothing by I discarding would get, anything. You're not getting anything by discarding it. Not at all. So I can only generate one per objective. Yes, yeah, so you might as well keep it. If you discard you it, you well just keep it. You know, getting rid of an opportunity. Yeah. Okay, so we shall get over to Eldar turn two. Eldar turn two. Liam has drawn Secure Objective 6, which is quite an easy win. And we have Priority Orders Received for Kingslayer, which is never going to happen, mate. No, I don't see a Farseer taking on Gunnerman. GW's favoured son. No, I don't think so either. No. However, Objective 6 is just behind the, these containers here, and the um, jet bikes just there are claiming them. Other than that, though, movement, what's happened? It's looking like quite an interesting battlefield. There's a lot of... Yeah, I quite like everywhere. this. I it's mean, looking cool. Darren will probably back me up. A lot of reports I've seen, there's lots of blob lists going on, and we're really spread out, so I quite like it at the moment. It's so, um, I've moved my warlord away from the stern guard over here, because they yeah. will destroy him. There's no point me staying close, I can't kill enough stern guard. Yeah. Um, the other far serious stake where he is, he has no need to move at the moment, although arguably he's now closer to the stern guard, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Um, We'll see if this trick pays off. Uh, we've got the two Warlocks that have pushed forward. They have a reduced version of Smite. They need to be within nine inches. These two here, yeah. Um, they're two separate units. They could both do it. It's only a single wound each, but it might help it in the long run. Uh, we have got the Stern, uh, the Wraith Guard out. The Wraith Guard got out three inches, move five inches, and then advanced four inches to put them here. Um, I think you probably can tell what they're likely to shoot at. So they can still fire because Yeah, so they're, they, their D-size are assault weapons. And so they, they can auto fire, hit. okay. Ah, right, that's Yeah, nice. so there's no penalty to moving for them, so I you might see. as well advance and shoot with their D-size. If you're not aware, assault weapons can advance and then still shoot, they just shoot at minus one, however, obviously, if they automatically yeah, hit, they and still a, shoot. Yeah, and a lot of Eldar stuff, the infantry and bikes have battle focus, Yeah. so they can advance and not suffer that minus one penalty. Indeed. 
Um, the wave serpent that got out that they got out of has jumped over the tanks in the building since it's got the fly keyword to one get close to his captain and two remove that teleport homer. Yeah, and the other one's gone as well. Yeah, so the hemlock's got a 20 inch minimum move. It's moved here and pivoted because it's got um, I can't remember what the name of it yeah, is. Yeah, it can rules, twice. But it can move it, after yeah. it can pivot after it's moved. Yeah. and gets rid of the other teleport homer and allows it to shoot at Gulliman should I choose to. Ah, because he's closest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure it's much point because he just doesn't ever die. Um, the wraith knight's pushed up. It's full. 12 inches. I didn't advance at this time because I might try an assault. We'll see what happens. Um, it depends on how some of the things go. We don't know yet. Um, and for, I think I've told you about this bike yeah, over here. No, you haven't. He jumped off out of the way so the Terminates can't see him. Hide but he can there. still draw a line to the stern guard. So he might kill one, maybe okay. two. Probably not, but he might also stay alive. So that's it for your movement, right? It is, yes. Cool, we're going to hop over to the psychic phase. Okay, into the psychic phase. Liam, what's happening? Well, we have an elaborate plan. It probably won't work, but we'll give it a go anyway. Uh, first things first, this seer here yeah. is going to doom the Land Raider. Okay, cool, yeah. Hopefully. What do you need? Seven. Cool. No. Oh, damn, oh you, not you get to reroll though. I can reroll one with my Runes of the Far Seer. Yeah. I'm gonna reroll probably both, actually. Oh, you can reroll both oh. dice for that? Up to any number of dice for the psychic oh, test. I see, okay. Yeah, set both. Uh -huh. uh, so it doesn't happen anyway, still no. a six. That serves me right. Uh, it will then try and guide the wave serpent over here, stood by the, um, yes. the captain. Again, seven required, gets that on 11. Oof. There we go. Right, um, so this seer here is going to fortune the Wraith Knight. Cool, yeah. Uh, gets that, that on nine. Off, yeah. And then he's going to smite the Venerable Dreadnought. Okay. Uh, and he's five, obviously. Uh, it's the closest model, smite. He's not yeah. closest model. Is, is, isn't he? Nope. No, uh, this is closer. Is it? I believe so. Mm. From base to so his, his base, base to his base there. Yeah. Is 16 and a half. Yeah. And I can't see this. So I'm gonna have to uh, that is 50, no, 60, no, 15 and a half. Yeah, okay, so, so, yeah. so what we'll do instead is we'll try it. I can't do Doom again, so. Which is a cock up I made on the first turn, which is a good job I failed both. Uh -huh. Because you can't try and cast ah, the same okay. power twice. Error. Hey, yeah, error. Mm, okay, so we'll smite the, the uh, rhino, might as well. Yep, go for it. So, uh, five required. Uh, oh, perils. perils. Does so that mean he's got The runes ah. don't say that you have to fail to re-roll. just says you can re-roll any number of dice. Okay. Oh, yeah, so um, he can re-roll, so I might as well. I know, I know I'll get D6 mortal wounds rather than just D3, but I also don't want to blow his own. Mm, he only suffers D3 wounds. Roll a dice, mate. Re re None. Liam's having an existential crisis. Reroll one or two. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep hold of it. I'm gonna get six wounds, six D6 wounds on him. No, it was on the rhino. No, it's on the rhino. Oh, the rhino. Sorry, D6 mortal wounds on the rhino. Yeah. And I'm gonna take D3 mortal wounds for perils. Okay. Yeah. So which one first? Isn't every model in a certain range as well, or is that only, only if, if he himself. dies? Okay, fine. So he'll take D3 mortal wounds first. Yeah. Two. Two. Yeah. Okay. Two wounds and then, and then D6, D6 on, the on the rhino. rhino. This needs to be high. Yeah, I'll take that, that'll do. To be fair, if you did a little trade, two for three, it's a decent deal. Uh, is that any more psychicness? Yes, many, many more psychicnesses. Oh, God damn it. Uh, okay, so this Hemlock Wraith Fighter here yes. is going to smite Gulliman, why okay. not? Yeah, yeah, fives. Uh, gets yep, it with goes six, off. so it's D3 mortal wounds for two. Two mortal wounds. Does Gulliman have some sort of six at it? Yep, Gulliman doesn't have anything, so two wounds gone. Each of these Warlocks is a separate unit, so each one's going to try and smite the Vendred. Okay. So the first Warlock, which will be this one here, the one with Conceal, uh, gets it on a seven. You just do one though, it's Just one reduced, mortal wound, yeah. yep. And then the second one here uh, yeah. gets it on ten. Doesn't make any difference Doesn't for Warlocks nine. though, it's just two mortal wounds, he gets two six up saves to be invulnerable. So he loses two wounds. Sweet. Okay, we are over to the shooting phase. Liam, what's up next? Uh, first things first, we're going to fire the two Warlocks and their Shuriken Catapults at the Venerable Dreadnought. Yeah, Warlocks well, just behind these the, two here. Yeah, uh, they're both firing. I might as well do it at the same time. I know they're two separate units, but one of them's not going to kill him, so I might as well do both. Go for it. Hitting on threes. Uh, well, that's not great, but not terrible. I've got four hits. Yeah. Five um, to wound. Five to wound him, because he's Tesla 7, I think. Uh, so there's one wound there for his... One three up, and see if we can get a six up after that. 
Okay. Final room, down to five on the Venerable. What's up next? Uh, over here, I'll just do this before I forget. Yeah. We've got a Shuriken Cannon firing at the Stern Guard here. Yes, I can. Three shots hitting on threes. Uh, one hits. Cool. You guys aren't kind to me today. I think kind of me either. Uh, and it's a wound. Okay. Normal throw up save. Fine. Right. What's next? Uh, now we're going to go for the Wraith Guard, I think. I nearly caught that. Yeah, it's Sam absolutely. Sam just fired and just wafting it in the end. Yeah. Why? That's in the a, level you get on the busy cast. In about five minutes, I'll be permanently surprised because my eyebrows will be on the floor. Um, so D3 shots from the Wraith Guard, you roll once for all of them. Yeah. I was there firing at the Landerator, sorry. Yeah, you want this high. Two so shots. Two each. shots, that'll do. I'll take 10 shots. Cool. They are strength 10. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get Doom off, so it's just threes to wound. Oh, you could, they automatically hit, yeah. Yeah, so two fail to wound. Oh, sorry, four fail to wound. So that's six wounds at minus four AP. So that's six, six up saves. Wow. They do one damage each, don't they? They do, yes. He's taken four so far in the game. Here we go. Uh, oh, passing two. Four. That's good. So it's four more down. So he's down to eight. But wow. eight is where he starts to get nerfed, so we're happy with that. Nice. Hemlock at the um, Land Raider. Go for it. 2d3 shots. Oh, outside of uh, oh, that would have been good otherwise. It would. We'll take that anyway. Five shots. Do they automatically hit? Five auto hits at strength 10. Wow, what gun is that? Uh, heavy D size. Oh, nice. So basically a big version of it. So yeah. uh, threes to wound. So all but one wound. They are also minus four AP. Six up saved. Six up saved and they had two damage each. Oh. Oh, six damage. What's he down to? He's two left. Two left. I I haven't witnessed a uh, a land raider get stripped so quickly in this uh, edition. No, no I haven't seen a land raider at all in this edition. I have. Oh, I have. Quite and it chuffed didn't that. die. Well, he's got a lot of stuff like, that ignores his does. armor and, it, and its toughness. He so. does, yeah. Right, uh, from here, the Shuriken Cannon from this little bike squad over here, because it's the only one in range, yeah. is going to fire at the Rhino. Okay, go for it. Uh, so he hits on threes. Same as the other one. And then he wounds on uh, fours. I don't know, or is it fives? It doesn't matter. Either way, anyway. you rolled a one. <laughs> Either way, thanks, John. It's all right. And then finally, the last little bit of shooting we've got, the wave serpent yes. is going to fire at the captain. Who is Out the just there. Closest model, obviously. That's why he's able to do it. Okay. So the first thing I will do, so I moved. Yes. Um, I didn't advance, so I can still fire the scatter lasers. Yeah. It has crystal targeting matrix. So yeah. if you fire at the nearest enemy model, you do not suffer the modifier for moving. Correct. So it's got eight scatter laser shots hitting on threes. Yeah. All bar That's one. Good deal of hits. They're all strength six, and I yeah. believe he's toughness four. Yeah. Wounded on threes. So we're wounded on threes. Uh, for a total of five wounds with your normal armor save. Whatever that might be. Three plus. Here we go. Failing two. Six. Anyway, I'll fire the Shuriken Cannon now. Yep. Again, hit on threes. Cannons aren't hit. doing me any favours. This is wounding on threes. We want sixes, really. Nope, no. nothing at all. Cool. Is that it for your shooting? That's it for my shooting, yeah. Charges, I imagine you have some. What are you declaring? The Wraith Knight. Yeah. I believe can make it to the Renderwood Render or not. So we have Overwatch coming in first from Darren. Okay, I just want to double check this. Rolling to hit him, sixes. And re rolling that. For a gentleman, yes. No. Now we're going for a big charge. Yes, we are. Nine inches we need. Nowhere near. Never going to get it even, even with a re -roll. roll. Not going to happen. Uh, it was worth it. Do you uh, have any more charges? Yeah. Okay, what, what else? The Wraith Guard. Yeah. I'm going to charge the captain. Okay, yeah, so the captain's just down here. Why not? We saw before. Okay. Gonna bolt pistol you? Of course. Six. You can re-roll one, though, can't you? You can. But that wasn't a one, that was a two. Yep. And then see if they're in. You need like a two. Yeah, they're Six, in. Six, they'll be in. So we'll move them and then we go summarise or? We will summarise that assault, hey. yes. The Wraith Guard managed to kill the captain before we got straight back, which is nice. So that's over and he's consolidated. That's the end of your turn, correct? It is indeed, yeah. Okay, for the points for Eldar at the end of turn two, you have secured objective six for the um, unit just here, holding that. Are you going to discard priority orders received or are you going to keep it? 
Uh, at the moment, you might as well keep it. I'm as not sure there's any. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna you can hold have six all six objectives. Hands, so no. I might as well keep it for now. Cool. Okay. So secure objective six is secured, and Liam goes up to four points. We shall move over to Ultramarines. Turn two. Do you have problems rolling dice? Do you hate that questionable rolling technique? Well, those issues are things of the past. With the Visicast Dice Tower from the XLC. Roll sixes on all of your dice all of the time. All this and more, just follow the link in the description below. Darren had control of two objectives at the start of his turn, therefore has drawn two new cards. He now has no prisoners, defend objective two, which he had last time, and assassinate. Defend objective two is just here. No prisoners, is that just to kill a unit? Yeah, and I get a D3 yeah, if I kill between three and five. Time. Yeah, okay. Uh, in terms of movement then, Darren, do you want to talk us through what you've done? Yeah. Um, the Gulliman has come around. Yeah. The um, Land Raider has... In fact, actually, he had moved previously before I moved Gulliman, so I must move him there because Gulliman came through. Land Raider stayed still. The Assault Terminators have come out of the Land Raider. The Tactical Marines have come out of the Rhino, and the Rhino's then moved forward. And then at the back over here, these Terminators have moved forward a bit towards the battle, and then the Stern Guard have also moved forward in this direction. Over there, yeah. So it's looking quite nice, and it's nicely spread out. There is obviously going to be a lot of bloodshed around here, and Gulliman is in range of every unit for his reroll to hit and to wound that are making the Ultramarines so good right now. Um, we'll get straight over to the shooting phase. The Terminator unit are going to fire all of their weapons at this unit of bikes here. So I'm Stormbot going to... shots coming in. Hit on threes. Wounding on fours. Three four plus saves on those jet bikes. Yeah! Uh, one makes it, one dies. Indeed. Okay, and then the two crack missiles hitting on fours. One hit. <coughs> Outside of Guybrush. Uh, Should have got it in, mate. Should have got it in. Are you thinking about using command point? Can I use another stratagem as well as this one in the shooting phase? Yes, as long as it's yeah, not a reroll. As long as it's not okay, re I'll reroll that then. Yes. Uh, and that is, I think, minus two for the cyclone. Uh, minus two to your armor. Six up. Six up. No! Oh! oh, by the way, you need to roll a dice for your command points if you get it back. You do? Five plus. It doesn't. I haven't disappear. got any of them back yet. Oh, we have now. I'll get it back. There you go. Nice. Cool, that's those Terminators done. What's up next, Darren? Uh, the Stern Guard are going to fire at the um, Wraith Knight. Ooh, nice. And they're going to use their stratagem, so they add plus one to their rolls to wound. Okay. okay. Okay, Darren has used the command point and is rolling to see if he gets this next one back for that stratagem. Five plus. He does indeed. He's doing well. Um, okay, and obviously we had the Stern Guard just up here firing at the Wraith Knight. And the stratagem was uh, plus one to wound, right? Yeah. On to hit on threes. Wow. So it's five because of the stratagem. Two. Two so wounds. Minus two AP. Yeah. So he has two five up saves. He does. Standard. Which he makes one. And then he has a five up save for fortune at the seer car moment, which he fails. So oh, is down... fortune now a save after the fact, like a yeah, yeah, pain? Yeah, it's like a full no pain save now. So he is now down to only a mere 23 wounds. 24 wounds to start with. Yes. Yeah. What the hell? Okay, what's up next, Darren? Okay, so this Dreadnought is going to shoot at the Wraith Knight. Yeah, the Venerable Dread. Yep. I want to hit. Hits him. Yep. Oh, he moved. Yeah, so it's two. Oh, down. yeah, we've got threes, yeah. Uh, wounding on a four. Wounds Yay. him. Minus four. So that's no save, but he has a five of a vulnerable save. Followed by his five up fortune save. Outside, outside of Guybrush. Oh, always, it was a five as well! Always caused it. Yep, roll 2d6, pick the highest. Yep, for damage. Six. Six! It's nailing those do, shots, You do yeah. need that to start ripping it off, but that's very nice to see. Uh, right, what's up next? Okay, uh, Laz Cannon, for this squad, Laz Cannon and the Plasma are going to shoot at him. At Gunnerman. Sorry, uh, no, no, not Gunnerman. Right, you let's can start shoot again. Gunnerman, if you want You're shoot shooting Gunnerman. at uh, the Wraith Knight, yeah? Yeah. Cool, okay. No, you said Gunnerman. And what are the bolt guns shooting at? Uh, the bolt guns are going to shoot at the, those guys. Cool, okay, so we'll do the special weapons first. Okay, so last cannon, uh, it's minus one because it's moved. Yep. Uh, but I get to re-roll if I roll a one or a two. Okay, yep. Kill him and have to re-roll. No, it misses. He is going with overcharge on his plasma profile, so we're on to hit. 
Reroll for Gunnerman. Nope, still misses. So it is rapid fire, second shot. Hits! Wounding. Fours. Yep. Wounds. Wounds. Minus. minus it's a it plus is minus, minus three. Oh, okay. So it's a five up save for his vulnerable. Yeah. He's nice. happy. Right, more shooting. Okay. Oh, we had the uh, bolt guns into the race guard on this squad over here. Okay. Is it? They are rapid in rapid fire. fire it is it? rapid fire, yeah, to get two shots each. Okay. okay. Rolling to hit for those bolt guns. Special ammunition. And you get some re rolls because of Gulliman. Yep. Just within six. We, have we been re-rolling to wounds as well? Yes. Uh, Good. Well, apart from the land raid at the very beginning. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then roll into wound. With re-rolls if required. Five to wound, by the way. Yeah. What's that? Sorry, what? Their toughness is five? Five, yes. Oh. They used to be six. Did it hit? Yeah. It's Down. always been five. How many saves have you got, Darren? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight saves of three plus. Yes. Uh, so I failed three saves. They usually have lose one bloke. They usually have a two plus. They got three, three plus, plus saves. The normal bolt guns. Oh, are they? I thought they were special ammunition. No, oh, no, they're a tactical guard. squad. Ah, Gulliman over here shooting one of the warlocks just down here. Wait, wait. Uh, Rerun to hit, and yep. then yep. Uh, I think strength four. No, it's strength six. Isn't strength it? six. That was four. Three wound. And reroll that. Nice. Six. Four up in vulnerable saves from the Warlocks. I mean, that would have been good. There's four wounds. Four wounds. Which one were you shooting at, mate? Sorry. That one. He is dead. Cool. We have a Warlock down. He's a single down. unit, isn't he? He is, yes. Ah, oh, finally a point. Yeah, that is a point for no prisoners. Any more shooting, Dan? Yeah, this guy is going to shoot at that. Okay. Who? It's the Land Raider, shooting at that. Okay. Flamestorm so cannons. Six. So, how many shots from the Flamestorm? Uh, four. Four. They auto hit. Wounding yep. of fives, yep. but with a re-roll. Re-rolling for Gunnerman. Two wounds. Two wounds at minus two. So it's two... Five three, up. Four, five ups. Yeah. Uh, which are plus one, plus a five up for Fortune. Which I failed to do, there's another two wounds. Okay. That's nine in total he's lost. Is there anything else, Dan? Yeah, it's going to be the assault cannon now. Cool, assault cannon into the Wraith Knight. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool, we're on to hit. It's five bad now. Oh wow, it doesn't really matter if it's bad, clearly. Okay, and then fives again for the reroll. Okay, um, um, strength six, I think, still. Yeah. So fives with a reroll. Two, three, four, five, six. Doing well. Cool. He is doing well. And this is minus one, isn't it? Yeah. So it's fours followed by fives. So fours for his armor. Uh, Ouch. Which is one, followed by fives for fortune. So I lose another four wounds. Wow. That's 13 You now. can start, he's lost 13 wounds. Yes, yeah, so mm. he's now. That's a lot of wounds. He's now at weapon skill and blister skill, four plus I think, rather than. And we have those assault terminators lining up. Yeah, I've got the multi melter as well. Okay, yeah. Which hits. Yeah. Uh, doesn't we roll, we roll. roll. We yeah, wounds. wounds. Follow up in vulnerable save. Followed by five up fortune save. Outside, Outside of Guybrush. Oh. And then D6, so are D's, you, are D's you D's in? Yeah, D6, okay. but pick the highest out of two. Because he's in range, yeah. Six, Six more, wow. Oh. This is the best dice roll that I've seen Darren ever do. Yeah. It probably is, yeah. It's kind of appearing when it matters. How many I was wounds? mildly happy with the, this game, but I mean, yeah. How many wounds are you on now? They clearly want to sell more ultramarines and don't want Elder to win. He's on... I think they've sold enough Elder models. Yeah. yeah. Uh, He's got 19 fair. wounds. He's got five remaining. Really? Nice. Yeah. Jetbikes over there. Cool. So the Stormbot on the Rhino into the Jetbikes just down there. Here we go. We're on to hit. Uh, not close enough to Gulliman. Okay. It's a wound. Uh, doesn't no, wound. does not. Any more shooting? Uh, let me double check. I don't think so. Uh, I hope not. It would be the assault phase now. Sweet. Venerable Dreadnought into the um, Warlock. Overwatch. Overwatch. One hits. Yeah. He can wound on five. We need a six. Nope, just the wound. Five. Uh, okay, and then on a six, I can ignore it as well. Yeah. Oh. Six throwing demons. Today. See if he's in. Yeah. He's in with seven as well, so we've made that charge. Darren is smashing it. 
Uh, oh, yeah, this is probably a tabling now. It's Gulliman. Starting to look He's going to charge the um, Wraith Knight. Knight. I yep. have no Overwatch. Okay. This is uh, now we're gonna we're gonna see this. Let's go. Come on. Five, Five inches. That's not enough, mate. Well, he is only six inches away. Oh, let me have a look. We need uh, to be within an inch. I yeah, don't I think, think he's over are. six inches. I think just slightly. <gasps> can I use a reroll? Yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. use a reroll. I just really want to see him in combat. There you go. Doom. There it is, nine inches. We are going to see and this combat you happen. Also roll the dice again to see if you get that back. Obviously, so command point was used, and now see if he gets it back on a five plus. I do. What the? Darren is. Darren <laughs> does roll, bro. It needs to be around here. Okay. So I've still on five five points yeah, yeah. on it. The um, Terminators are going to charge in as well. Yeah, cool. Uh, they're charging the Wraith Knight. Yeah, see if they're in. Yep. They move in. Any more charges? Uh, the Tactical Squad, I think, will charge. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Right, Overwatch. Yes. How many shots do you get? Three for all of them. Oh, oh three. Do they all oh hit? Yes. You, so he could chew through those. Probably. So, I need, so that is uh, three shots per. Is twelve auto hits at strength ten. Oh. Choose to wound. Outside the guy brush, we roll it. Uh, AP minus That'd be all four. Of them. So there's no. So that's two misses. So that's ten dead marines. That's all of them. Wow, that was a tactical. Although that he would have shot them next turn. Although now he doesn't have to. So yeah. possibly not the best choice. But well, hey, what are you gonna do? I was just trying <laughs> to catch. It's a fun game. He did manage to roll the maximum he could have done, so he did well, well there. Well, we can't whinge about dice rolling today, Darren, can we? I've just been lucky today. <laughs> In this phase, anyway. Um, so. We're going to do combat now. Yes. Yeah, uh, I'm not I, going to summarise this. We are going to watch it. I would it. like, because I charged, I will char use Gulliman first. It doesn't matter. I can't interrupt you anyway. Why not? Crack Hitting on a we are two. starting with this combat here, and obviously we're doing Gulliman first because we want to see him curb stomp a Wraith Knight. Okay. He's going to use the sword first with three attacks, and then afterwards he's going to use the fist with three attacks. Okay. Sword. sword. Two's to hit. Yeah. All hit. Yeah. Uh, it will make him strength eight, so fours to wound. Any sixes do D3 mortal wounds as well. Cool. Uh, that's one wound. Rerolls, uh, rerolls. Oh, rerolls, yeah. yeah. Two wounds. Yeah. And that is at minus four. So it's five up and vulnerable. Followed by five up. Uh, Fourteen. You'll be so dead. He's dead. Six wounds. Wow. However, we have a titanic explosion. Oh, do we now? Well, it's called a catastrophic collapse. And what All happens right. with that, Liam? Well, like a six. catastrophic six, prolapse. It collapses. Okay. If it collapses, uh, then there's. Mortal GG. wounds and stuff. Oh! Yes! It right. is a six. Liam is Any now consulting the two d6 range. Yeah. Suffers d6 mortal wounds. Nice. Okay. This is probably going to be more damage than he would have done if he was alive. To be fair, yeah. So That's two d6 range. Outside of guy brush. Is eight inches. Right. Uh -oh. <laughs> so let's work out that he's in. He's in. There, there is a lot of damage happening right now. Uh, if the flame storm cannon shot the wraith knight, then he's within eight yep, inches. Yeah, it is. The rhino is within eight. Okay. He is going to do a lot of damage just from exploding. Right. What a what, what a shift. That's amazing. I will let Darren roll the dice for my bikes after I roll for everything else. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because it's just fair that way, and he's been rolling sixes anyway. Just so roll what you. Venerable dreadnought. Yeah. D six mortal wounds for three, so he's down to two wounds remaining. Yep. Okay. I'll just change that now. Gullyman, who's on seven wounds. Yeah. This is where we need the six. I've got a command you point. You can get as well. six. Nice. So, D6 mortal wounds are going There we go. That's just a two. I'm going to use my final command point. Ding. Three. Yeah, oh. It's better than nothing. It's better than a roll one, I suppose. So I reckon you're going to kill Gulliman, though. The Terminators will suffer D6 mortal wounds for four. Four. So they lose two. Two Terminators, Terminators gone. The Rhino will suffer D6 mortal wounds. For two. How many has he taken already? Two, I think. It may have been one. How many wounds has he got left then? I have no idea. <laughs> What's next? The Land Raider for D6. He's got two wounds remaining. Oh, oh. it's a one! <laughs> Do you even roll, bro? <laughs> he's not. Uh, and unfortunately, he's used his command point, so unrollable. The Land Raider survives with one I wound. I think it was worth it to try and take more off Gullivan than it was. Point. It was. However, it was quite funny that it blew up. Darren can roll for my other models if he would like to. He can okay. indeed. I'm just going to find out what the rhino is. Oh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. So, the warlock, d6 more wounds. That kills Four. him. Oh, he's dead. He's only on three wounds. My the, god. The seer who's not the warlord. He's this got three is remaining. devastating. Dead. Oh my god. The warlord who's got three remaining. I think 
Oh, it's, just I'm the one. Really roll that. He's using a command point. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, it's two. He's down to one win. That Let's see was if I get that catastrophic. Back. No, so oh, actually lost another one. So, um, unbelievably, the thing that's done the most damage to is a dying race is, knight. Is, is a race knight that dies has just he's done so much damage yeah, there. That's one of the coolest rolls I've ever seen. God, that had not had happened. I that just, was incredible. He just smashed him in combat anyway. That was really cool. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest, although I, I'm looking very thin on the ground now. You are. Um, however, you're about to take down a land raider. You're, yeah, did, you I can mean. kill Gulliman, um, although there is a lot of Ultramarine stuff left, but as we know, it is down to the points, and he could potentially survive by just knocking around. So it's still anyone's game. Wow, at the end of Ultramarine, turn two, Darren has secured no prisoners for uh, D3, because he's killed four, was it? Yeah. Four, so D3. Now, if you roll your D3 in the middle here. Can I use a reroll like this? Oh, yeah, there's no Yes, you can. can. So, so D3, in. yeah. For oh. three, taking him up to a total of four VPs. And now, Defender of Literature, you don't have. Assassinate, kill a character. Yeah. You did kill a character. Did you kill three characters? Yes. Yeah. That's another D3, mate. Four, two. I'll keep that. So, you have just earned a total of five, taking you up to, boop, SM Battle Report, uh, taking you up to six. <laughs> um, it's all about the community. Do taking I get to, to consolidate six. now? Yes, you do. That's them rules. Okay. Um, I'm guessing you're keeping hold of Objective 2. There's no uh, point in you getting rid of it, which I'll get over to Eldar, turn three. We are on Eldar turn three. Liam only controlled one extra objective, so he has picked up secure objective one, mm. and we still have priority orders for King Slayer. Do you want to talk us through your movement? Objective one, by the way, I is... I talk you through flight movement just now. Yeah, we won't oh. talk about Darren's bowel movement. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's not pleasant. Objective one's just here, and you can't see it, but there are two... Cowardly little elves. You can actually see a little bit down there. Yeah. There are two jet bikes just hiding under there to claim him objective one, so he has at least got that. Other than that, in terms of your movement, what's what's happened? We've moved this bike up to within three inches of that. On the off chance I might be alive next turn to claim another two objective cards. Uh, we had a little look. Those terminators can't see him at the moment, so Correct. he's safe-ish, perhaps. We don't yeah. know. He, he might still get slaughtered yet. Um, anyway, uh, it's interesting yeah, over here. It's after the last turn, I am thin on the ground. So um, I'm basically going for what looks cool on YouTube now. Um, Although you you can turn it round, right? I can. I don't Sorry. see it happening. I think you can. But I so can. The Venerable Dread is on two wounds, right? He is on two wounds, yeah. We'll the put Land Raider is on one wound. The Land Raider is on one wound. Gulliman is on four wounds. Yes. The Terminators are there. These guys can rip through something. The Hemlock can do something. You've got mortal wounds being dotted around. I reckon you can, you can level it. The thing is, if you look at it, and it is still anyone's game at this moment in time, yes. it depends how this turn goes. Darren does have other units, but these guys are kind of out of the game a little bit. They're not getting rapid fire or anything. They can shoot some stuff. And these guys are way out of the game, and they're slow, so, so they're not going to get in. I think if I roll well this turn... If you roll well, yeah. I can hold this game now. You can. But if I don't Could roll well... Could even win it. Yeah, no, yeah. Honestly, yeah. If, it, if everything goes well, there's no reason why I couldn't potentially remove Gulliman, the Venerable Dread, and the Land Raider. Correct. But, I mean, I'm saying that now, and I probably... It could go terribly wrong yeah, and of get course. none of it. We'll see what happens. This is why we love the game. Indeed. So that's all uh, all the movement and the fact that it is still anyone's game. Shooting. Yes. Let's go straight into it. Oh, no, we'll do Psychic first. Oh, of course, of course. So the first thing we will do yeah. is the Farseer will smite Gulliman. You're going to Gulliman? Yes. I suppose it has to be the closest model. Well, actually, no, we won't do Gulliman, actually. It has, to, it has to be the closest model. We will do the Hemlock smiting Gulliman first. Okay, yeah. Is, yeah, go for it. yeah go. Goes off. With 10. Ten. That's more than um, more wounds, isn't it? Uh, let's pause. Three. Oh. Okay, so it needs to be more than ten, and it was just ten. Yeah. So D three wounds. This on going to work. Six. Oh, uh, two, two wounds. wounds. So that's how many is he down to? He's down, down to two. To two wounds yeah. on Gulliman. So now the Farseer will you now can... smite Gulliman. Okay. I really hope this goes off. I really want this to pay off, mate. Yes. Okay, it goes off. You can't get any command points. You can't. No, but I've got wounds of the Farseer. So it goes off anyway. You're yeah. guaranteed it goes off. But if on I roll a five. six on that, I get D6 yes. more wounds. So why not? Because it's free. Because you I lose get it nothing because anyway. he gets it anyway. Yeah. So that's a five and no. three, alas. So, so it's D3 it more off. wounds. D3. If he rolls anything above a three, 
Yes! yes! Gunnerman is dead! What an epic roll. That is fantastic. We've killed Gunnerman, which is you. a ma- Oh, or have you? Well, he, get, have he can you. get back up, can't he? Oh, he's... God, he can! With a re-roll because of Darren's thing. Oh, See, man. Is... Although, having said that, for the purpose of the car Priority has received, you just killed him. I don't think... Does he not get up at his next, his next turn, though? I don't know. So we'll have... First time Gunnerman is reduced to zero runes, roll a d6 on a 4+, plus, set him up again at the end of the phase, as close as possible to the previous phase. position. Right, so 4+, plus, Darren. Wait, 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 I need to get this. Please, right. please whiff this. Four plus, mate. Otherwise, I'm going to rage quit. Four plus, do it. <laughs> so, do ar it. armor of fate, four plus, see if Gunnerman gets back up. Yeah. Oh, it's a four, he does! And he comes back up with d6 remaining wounds. Oh, God, he's going to roll it. Oh, one! Say I'll re roll that. So, one, so another uh, point to use. wounds. Wow, he's actually gone up in wounds. Now, do I get that back? No. no. So, I'm down so he's three. used a point. Wow. And this is why he's come back with he's more broken. wounds. So not only did we kill Gunnerman just then, reducing a serious modifier, he's come back with more wounds. That's insane. So, yeah. So now we're going to doom him. Mate. I, I, uh, no, I don't get it anyway. Can you matter. not re-roll? Oh, no, you've already no, used No, I used it. that runes already. Also, I, I just want to point out... You, you do have to worry about the other stuff. You can kill no, the no, of course, no, You can kill the land raider. My plan was to kill Gullyman in the psychic phase, which right. I did. Yes. Uh, I don't know how that works for Kingslayer. I haven't read the rules. We'll have to, we're going to check Yeah, we'll have to that. check that over, because that's probably a grey area. Because yeah. he's not dead. No, no, I know, but he died. He died. So we'll have to read. I'm sure you're probably safe, because, you know, we're all supposed to love Smurfs. He was um, destroyed. So now we're going to go on to the shooting phase. Suppose yeah. it's at the end of your turn, isn't it, Kingslayer? D3 if your points of your opponent's wall has been destroyed during this or any previous turn. So he, he was, was destroyed. destroyed. It's a great he one, isn't it? He came back, but he was I destroyed. Think have to dice off for I think you might have to dice off for we'll, it. We'll worry about that yeah. at the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do. No, I'm going to be rolled mate. Um, uh, so the first thing we're going to do is fire the Wave Serpent into the Land Raider. Cool. So the Wave Serpent down here, obviously, you're shifting to the. Um, so Scatalaser first. Phase. Yeah. Hey, Everything on. going into him, yeah. Everything, got an yeah. Hit okay. on threes. Have you got that? Yeah, yeah. So we missed two. Uh, strength six, toughness eight, so we're wounding on fives. Uh, that is three. Three two up armor saves, please. <sighs> Just fell one down. Oh, no, you can you can re. -roll. I can't use a reroll. Can different phase. Yeah, you well, can. Now it's like different phase. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll re-roll. Oh, he has got a one. Two ones in a row. Yeah! <gasps> two ones in a row. Do you even roll, bro? Do you get the command point back yet? He does yeah, get he the command back. point back, but the land three. raider... And then we'll see if it blows up. ...dies for double one. So I roll, or do you want to roll? Uh, you, you can roll. Oh, you I roll for the rate You've got previous for rolling, haven't you? So, six explodes. <laughs> it's a six! Oh my god! This game is incredible. This is genuinely so incredible. Happens, I don't know whether the land raider says it'd be D3 mortal wounds for everything oh within D6, god. I'd imagine. Which is basically the... Uh, Wraith guard and the fire. Yeah, wow. Roll a d6 before we move on. Six. Each unit within six inches suffers d6 mortal wounds. So it's just those two. I don't know if anything else is. Please tell me the the okay, um, dreadnought is. is. Please tell no, me the dreadnought. No, it's not. So it's just it. my units. So red guard. D6 mortal wounds. D6. Two. two. So one's oh, down to one. One's down to one. Uh, and then the hemlock. Yeah. One. Oh, okay. okay. Luckily they were low. So that's rolls. not too bad. We can live with that. Yeah. Right. But the land raider is now the removed. Land raider is removed. So it's a moral victory for me at least. I'm gonna put them on the table. Then. Yes. Which allows me now to fire my heavy d size at different units. Okay, that's good. So one heavy d size will fire at the Venerable Dreadnought. You, you okay. The one Venerable heavy... Dreadnought has one, two wounds left, right? Yeah. And they do two damage each, but they're yes. d3 shots a turn. Okay. So one heavy d size will fire at the Venerable Dreadnought. The yeah. other heavy d size will fire at Gulliman. Okay. So the first one for the Dreadnought. Yeah, I really want to see. I can't two see what wounds, it is. Two hits. Two so it's hits. three people to three. Right, okay, yeah. Two auto hits at strength 10. Yeah. So we wound on threes. Yeah. Two, two wounds, wounds at minus four AP. So, so he gets two six ups followed by six ups. Okay, this is fantastic. No, I fail and followed by six ups. Six up. Oh, he gets a six. He's only down to one wound. Two damage each. Oh wow! So he also can explode. Oh yes, of course. On a roll of a six. Yes. I'm gonna roll that well, roll it's obviously going to be a six. I'm going to roll the other one. one has. Please let me see it. What is uh, it? I can't see it. Five. 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 That's a five. But he's now gone. Cool. The other heavy D side hitting Gulliman. Yes. 
Two times. Yeah. Auto hit strength ten. So I'm wounding Gulliman on threes. See, this game is turning round. Two wounds. This game minus is four AP, round. but you have a free up and vulnerable save because he's broken. I mean, he's good. So he loses one, yeah. which means he loses two wounds. He's back down to the four he started with at the beginning of this turn. Yes. Not horrendous, but not amazing. Gulliman only uses his comeback ability once, correct? Yes. Yeah. So you can kill Gulliman this time. I can. It's not rapid. We're going to fire at him with the um, Shuriken catapult on the far here. Yeah. Hit him on twos. So I hit all four times. Uh, winning on five, six is a minus three yeah, eighty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no wounds at all. Unfortunately. Oh, that's expected. Now, just, just thinking, what mm -hmm. the race guard down here? What's their minus AP? Four. So it would take. He gets three plus in vulnerable save, right? But I can't target him. him. Why? Because he's not the nearest. Oh, of course. The character. Yeah, you're right. He starts with nine wounds, not ten. The wraith guard instead. I'm going to fire at the terminators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. D three shots. For eight shots in total? Yeah. One, two, three, four. See, this game can and is eight. turning round. So, eight auto hits. Yeah. Wounding the Terminators on twos. Yeah. Uh, so, one fail. So, seven wounds with three up Storm Shield saves. Okay. Are they two damage each? One each. Oh, so, I okay. need him to fail six of these. It's not rapid, yeah, but I can kill some. Uh, one, two, three, oh, four. So, so two, two dead Terminators. Two Terminators, my god. So, it's not horrendous. They're. They'll need a battle shock, or they, can, they can't fail it. They can't fail it, no, you're right. Right. So, oh, finally, wow. the last move of the game now. I thought, well, I say the game, it's probably the last move of my game. Oh, do I or don't I? Don't. I have to, because otherwise he charges me. Yeah, but it's yep. something he's got to do if you charge him. So, Liam, what Liam is thinking is the charge is faster, is Warlord into Gunnerman. Uh Obviously, he's going to lose that fight. <laughs> yeah. um, unless Gunnerman fluffs all of his rolls, which is possible, and you guys are locked in combat, but then Gunnerman can just fall out. The thing and is, right, shoot. the Seer oh. has two attacks in on twos. Yeah. He wounds on twos. Yeah. D3 damage a time. So you can kill him. But he does get his two up armor save. But we're seeing what he's like for rolling two up armor saves. But if you charge, you will get to go first. I know, yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, it's a, you're cool. What are you going to do? Charge. Okay. okay. Overwatch. Yeah. yeah, Overwatch, here we go. And re-roll that. Three sixes. Yeah. That's wounding you on threes. I think it's over, mate. Uh, re-rolling Just the these. one. Oh yeah, re-roll of course. Three saves. Four up. Uh, three four ups. Get him off. Followed oh. by two six ups for his wallet trait. Which I felt... Ah, oh, I forgot Just to roll the them in one. the past. Just oh, the well. one and... Unfortunately, slay the warlord for the ultramarines. We do need to look and see if priority orders received. Kingslayer is achieved despite Gunnerman coming back. Um, that's the end of your turn, though, right? Uh, that yeah, unfortunately, right. that is the end of my turn. Let's look up and see what happened with this no, card. I'll so uh, we can't figure it out, and I don't know. So we're just going to roll off. Whoever gets highest gets to choose. Darren, roll first. Darren's rolled a five. Liam, you need to roll a six, mate. It's all no. Him. So alas, he has not achieved priority orders received Kingslayer. And unfortunately, he now cannot because his Warlord is dead. I still think I did. However, he has secured objective one, taking up to five, which means there is only a point in it at present. Yeah, I so think it's not horrendous. It's not horrendous. And you have, on this battlefront over here, Admittedly, Gulliman still stands. He can't charge anything, because that's charging. He can charge these guys, but their Overwatch alone could, could take him could down. Could kill him, yeah, but probably not. So, I think you're still in it. We shall see how turn the next turn goes. But yeah, over to the next Ultramarine's turn. We are on Ultramarine turn three. We have Witch Hunter, obviously not achievable anymore, but it was, so he has to discard it normally. And defend objective two. Movement, Darren. What's okay. happened, mate? Well, Gulliman's moved forward so that he can get within objective three inches of yeah. that. This um, guy has moved just to sort of shield him. Yeah. These Terminators have moved forward to try and get some in range, and these uh, Stone Guard have moved so they can see the um, uh, Wraith Guard. Cool. Oh, right, uh, Shooting. Oh, interesting. Yep. What's up? Uh, Gulliman's going to fire first. Yep. Uh, checked him. He's within 12 inch rapid fire range, so he's going to fire six shots and he's going to fire it at them. Cool. One hit. Twos. Be running ones. Okay. All hit. He'll be wounding them on threes as well because they're only toughness five this edition, yep. not toughness six. And then re roll them. Uh, that is three wounds. I think it's minus two, isn't it, for Gunnerman's shots? 
It is. Oh, it's minus one. Three wounds. Uh, four wounds four. in total. Four, yeah. sorry, four, four ups. Okay. Uh, that that's a cop. That's a cop free roll. Yeah, okay, so, so that's one dead wraith card. It's damage two. Oh, is it? Oh, for Christ. So you've so lost one. Two doesn't carry out. No. How many wounds do they have each? Damage two. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah, so. One just loses one wound. One yeah. had already lost a wound over yeah. from that explosion. Yeah, but the wounds don't carry over. So two damage, just one wound, gone. And then the other one loses two, two wounds. So one's down to one wound. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yes, that is right. Cool. Right. Uh, next up, the stern guard are there going to do their shooting. Uh, they've got, remember, range two, uh, 30. 30. So there's all 10 of them. Uh, I'm going to use their stratagem, which is plus one on the roll to wound as well. Cool, so roll to see if you get that back first. Command point use. Okay, do I get it back? Five plus. No, no so I'm down gone. to two. Uh, and it's 10 guards shooting. He's got endless command points. Yes. Is... Okay, and this is wounding on fours. Okay, and that's uh, six wounds altogether. They're minus two, aren't they? They are. So five ups. Uh, so oh five no! Wounds. So it's one, two, two. Oh. one. Plus four more wounds remaining is three off of him, and then he's down to one wound remaining. No, he's down to two, isn't he? One, they're three wounds each. Yeah, one, he took five four. Wounds off. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh no, you are right. He's down to two. Oh man. Oh no, he's going to fall over. I'm sort of rooting for the Eldar, which is really strange. It's not like you, though, is it? It's no. really not. It's mainly because I don't. It's mainly because I just don't like Darren. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just worth for? it for his face every time. Every time. The, this this guy, face. I'm going to use another stratagem. It's yeah. uh, Ultramarine's infantry can re-roll to hit rolls of one. Yeah. It's going to fire the two crack missiles at him. Oh, the so little, yeah. force to hit because they've moved. But if he gets in ones, he gets to re-roll the ones. Okay. Okay. Uh, one hit, uh, one wound, uh, it's minus two, because it's crack. Nope, and uh, two damage or D3 damage? Can't remember, I think it might be D6. D6 damage, we need a one to four. Yeah. Unfortunately, the Wraith Guard are dead. However, I will you know, go on film as saying, Darren Firth of these were guys were rubbish. They, yeah, they, they were, they did quite well. Very good. I'm really impressed by them, to be honest. Yes. Do I get that back? Yeah, remember, I'm down, I'll be down to one otherwise. No, yeah, so down, I'm down to, to one, one. Uh, command point. Uh, you have Witch Hunter, which you haven't achieved, and Defend Objective 2, which you have taken your first step towards achieving mm -hmm. with Gulliman. So if Gulliman survives, then you get it. If he dies, you don't get it. It's pretty much that simple. Mm -hmm. um, so we shall move over to Eldar, turn four. Okay, Eldar, turn four. God, oh, they're still kind of in there. So, <laughs> unfortunately, the cards aren't great. We have Area Denial, which is denied people in the middle of the board. Unfortunately, Gilliman's there. And Defend Objective 2. And we still have Priority Orders received Kingslayer. Um, which, oh, I would have obviously which binned them at the end of my Would turn. be binned off because it's literally. Yeah, impossible. we just left them there so people could see that's what I yeah. had. Um, in terms of movement, it's getting quicker. What's, what's happened? Uh, the Wave Serpent's head because uh, oh, just hide him. Cause if he kills my bikes and my wave serpent, even with the flyer still going that he's struggling to kill, I lose because it's got the fly battlefield roll. That's yeah, which is the most recent FAQ thing. Um, um, and then there, that bike stay where he is hidden. That bike will stay where they are hidden because they're still pulling me objective cards. Uh, there's no point in sending them off to get objectives because I've no. not got any I can go and get yet. So hopefully I can pull a couple which will allow me to get a couple more points. Cause actually there's only one point in it. So there, well, there is, Darren will get two if you don't. If, so what happens is, Gulliman is currently holding objective two. If he holds it at the end of this turn, Darren will get defend objective two for two more points. If Darren manages to kill Gulliman with this Hemlock Wraith Fighter, which, which is, is the essentially closest the turn model, now. Which, is, which is this turn, then not only does he deny it, he also achieves himself, say the Warlord, and then it will be six to six, and Darren, uh, Liam could win it just by holding objectives because Darren wouldn't, would potentially sit behind. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, we've moved the hemlock, it's yeah. minimum distance 20 inches, yeah. to ensure that Gulliman is still the nearest model to it. Correct. Which means, for smite purposes and for shooting purposes, I can target him now. Correct. I don't want to shoot him, because I like to kill stuff, and I just feel like I'm not going to kill him. He's four wounds. But we're going to give it a go. You can do it, yeah. We're going to give it a go. Here we go. So, we'll move on to the psychic phase. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to clearly, there's one thing we're going to do, we're going to smite Gulliman. Yes, we there's are. There's nothing else to do. Do it. So, let's go for a six and a five. Oh, it fails. Oh. Did he get any no rerolls? No, no yeah, rerolls. Still fast here. Fam. So, okay. I mean, that's wounding straight away. Yeah. However, we've still got the heavy D scythes. 
Yeah. Of course, I'm going to fire both at Gullyman. Yeah. So, 2d3 shots. Uh, for two oh, shots. For two shots. How many damage do they do each? Two. It's possible, but it's, it's not possible, is it? No. Uh, two's to wound. Uh, three's to wound. What's his toughness? Six, I think. So it's three swings. They're both wounds anyway. Two wounds, two wounds. Yeah, they both wounds. So minus four AP, so he gets his two three up and runnable saves. Oh, he failed both of these. No, he passed. Failed one. Use a reroll. Right, okay. His last command point is used. Okay, do I get it back? See if, see if you get it back. Yes. Uh, yeah, so he's still on one command point. But he's one. down to two wounds. He is. But he's going to get all these objectives now, so it's not really going to work. Is there anything else you can do? Yeah, the, the wave serpent wave to serpent? fire at the rhino. Okay, so the wave serpent just over here, shooting at the rhino through that window. Scatter laser, yeah. So hitting on threes because he's still the nearest model. Uh, mm, not terrible. And then we wound on toughness of a rhino. Is six, I think. It is. Yeah, no, it's six. Right. So I think it's four to wound. Outside of Guybrush. That's okay. Four wounds. Four wounds. Nice. Darren saves. I was counting four. toughness seven. Uh, I think he only had one four. Three wounds, I think. You needed a five. Can you really? check it at all? No, uh, no. All I right. can do it's effort. I tell you what, I'll re-roll the two wound rolls. I'm happy to do that if you want to, because he, he's saying there's three, and I think there was less. Okay. So five, five. five to wound. Uh, there's two, two there. So there, there we go. go. That, That's that what I thought it was anyway. That's the fairest way of doing it, isn't it? Uh, both passed. Uh, cool. Then the shuriken cannon hits on threes. No, it doesn't. Not at all. Is that the end of your turn? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately so. Right. End of Ultramarine, turn Elder. four. Elder, Elder turn I'm four. sorry, turn four. Um, neither, neither achieved, I'm guessing. You... Keep both. Okay, Ultramarine, turn four. As you saw, they did have Defend Objective four. However, they've secured it at the end of Liam's turn because he held it for two. Uh, so we now have Secure Objective four, which Hunter, which was previous and unachievable, we need to discard that. And secure objective. No. Oh no, we can get it back in the hemlock. Yeah. Sorry. And secure objective two, which obviously he's already on. So in terms of movement down, what's happened? Okay, so Gulliman's moved a little bit further forward. Yeah. This guy has moved in this direction. Yeah. Uh, the rhino, because it's got six wounds left. Yeah. Uh, it shot. It didn't have to move. It moved twelve and then uh, sort of advanced to get towards objective four. Yeah. Which is one of the ones I've drawn this turn. Giving you two more. Yeah. Yeah. The. Um, Stone Guard have moved closer just so they can get a bit more into the battle and the Terminators have actually stayed still because uh, I'm in his um, deployment zone so yeah if I remember correctly that's is it Line Breaker or... 24 yeah you've got Line Breaker there I think yeah. yes close. you do yeah. okay so start okay I'm just going to summarise the shooting phase basically everything here from the Ultramarine shot the Hemlock and we lost two wounds yeah two wounds yeah cool well, that, mm, that was the shooting phase so there are no assaults or anything uh, in terms of objectives, the Ultramarines have secured over there. Yeah, there's one from the Rhino and one from Gulliman. We have um, Secure Objective 2 and Secure Objective 4, taking Darren up to 10 victory points. Okay, guys, we are summarising both the Eldar and the Ultramarines turns because they're very quick. Eldar went first, Hemlock Race Fighter this way, Terminators shot, no sorry, he shot the Terminators with psychic powers and with shooting, managed to kill two Terminators. Ultramarine's turn, we had uh, priority orders received, which is basically the Warlord has to achieve it and hold the line. As a result, everything moved and advanced back to their deployment zone, which is obviously 24 inches from the table edge, therefore achieving them that, which has put Darren up in terms of points. Obviously, it's the end of turn five, and because of the state of the game and the points differential, we are gonna call it there. So we'll top up the points and have a little bit of a debrief. Right, the game is finished, we're done. Points. How how many did we have? Uh, let's Ultramarines. not talk about it. Let's not talk about was points. Was it 17 he had? 16? Yeah, no. He had 13. Yeah, I think it was 14. No, it was 14. 14 no, it was 7. I think it was 14. 14, 7. 7. I think that's, that's about how much it no, was. you were definitely odd, so it must have been 15. 15, You're... 6. There was a, a difference, we're and the Ultramarines were far, far ahead. Um, I loved that game as a spectator watching it i think it was fantastic hopefully you guys enjoyed it as well if you did make sure you like comment subscribe tell all your friends definitely subscribe um 
but I thought it was a fantastic game. The thing with the race night was by far the most interesting thing I've ever seen in a game of 40k, I think. That's quite it a was, statement. Oh, it genuinely was. It's fa fascinating to watch. Arguably, I think he did more damage dying than he He's, would have done if he stayed alive. Probably, but it's ironically, it was to you as well as him. Yeah. It worked out for my benefit in the end. Yeah. He killed some models that I might have had difficulty killing. Yeah. Even though I was in combat, I would have, might have struggled to pick out the units that did die. Mm. Yeah. Perhaps. Like, I definitely gave you the whole three character thing because mm -hmm. it killed the two Warlocks and the Seer. Mm -hmm. And you were only in combat with one Warlock at that point. So, yeah. I do think that this game has illustrated the strengths of Ultramarines. Ultramarines are on top right now. They're doing well at tournaments. And I think that this game has shown how that is fairly as we know possible and how how I'm it is not a very good player darren historically is not the best tactical player no, um, but to be fair in that game i think he did all he the did, right, he, all did the right he did do all the right things and he shot the right things so to be fair in that game tactically he did play very very well uh which was which was good surprising uh it is surprising but it was good um <laughs> yeah i uh I, I don't know if it could have gone other... There were a lot of dice rolls where it could have gone other ways. Yeah. Like, you rolled a lot of sixes with yeah, your amount of guns. Yeah. And I think if you hadn't have done, then you would have a tiny bit more, and then there could have been... It could have been closer, it could have been anyone's game yeah, for a bit yeah. longer. When I was firing them, I was in that half range. So... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you were. You got to roll two dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah and all that I stuff. I mean, you pretty much did six damage of every melt gun shot you fired. Yeah, you pretty much genuinely did. Yeah, it yeah. Was, which is fine. It was it, like you stripped wounds off, which. Melt guns are good. They are very good. Um, so, yeah, I, it was just fascinating. Um, what did you guys think of the game? I really enjoyed it. I mean, the points doesn't show that, but I really enjoyed it. I played a few weeks ago, my Elder against Ultramarines, and I got absolutely destroyed in about two turns. So I was really a bit apprehensive about the game. Um, I did a lot of changes to the list, brought a lot of units I didn't bring in the last game I played. Obviously, that wasn't on camera. And, um, and I was a bit, like I said, a bit apprehensive. I hadn't used the Crimson Hunter before. That did really well. I hadn't used the Wraith Knight before. I hadn't used the Wraith Guard before. I actually felt I held my own a lot better this game. And until the end, with the exception of the points, if you take the objective points out of it, I was kind of still holding my own. Yeah, you were. There was still a chance I could score some points. And, there was. And Darren did very well with his points and scoring the objectives he pulled. So in the end, it was just out of my reach. But yeah. had, he, had the cards have been slightly differently, there was a chance I could have still been in that at the end. Had Gulliman not come back. I honestly believe. On six wins. <laughs> yeah. That if was, that, if he came back on one wound, he would have but definitely But he did died. come back on one wound. Did not re-roll that? Yes. yes. That's why he had six. Because yeah. of his 74 command points he gets yeah, per yeah. game. There's so many. And I really think Elder been hit with an earth bat, which I'm not complaining about because they were they, too powerful. To be fair, they friggin' deserved it. It was getting it, like But I don't think fun. they've been nerfed to a point where they're unplayable. No, they have definitely haven't. Definitely they're just, haven't. They're just not quite as easy to win with as before. Which is fine. Of course it's fine. Yeah. So I have to think more about what I'm doing. And sometimes I think maybe I did that wrong myself. Yeah, and I also got. I did. I used to do this with you, you and your Raven Wing and the Necrons. I got obsessed with killing Gulliman just because mm -hmm. I really wanted him dead. Your list was quite interesting Super. because, of course, it's got a lot of things that do mortal wounds. Mm -hmm. You see, it's picked a lot of things. That in was there very useful in and this game. Hugely useful. So to be able to have in the Elder Army access to do that and position those mortal wounds or you know attack where you want to because you've got that speed was very very good, mm -hmm. and that was worrying me every single turn. If it for Gulliman, if it had been normal fire, I'd have not been worried about it. Oh, no, I wouldn't, fire, I wouldn't think you would have been. scatter lasers, don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you yeah I've got stupid saves. The mortal the wounds were brilliant in that game. Yeah. And if they weren't there, you would have been completely smashed. Yeah. yeah. Take, take a librarian next time. Yeah, yeah you I didn't have, Darren had no psychic defense. Although if you took a librarian, you could only uh, deny the witch of one of them. Still but one? It's still one and you could pick Force and choose. Reroll. Well, that is. Well, you could use a command point to force the reroll, and you don't mind spending them. Yeah, because you can probably get it back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <probably. laughs> so um, many. I yeah. don't know how many command points I ended up with that game. I think I probably end up with at least double that I started with. So if I had seven command points at the beginning, yeah, I think I must have used fourteen. If you um, if you were to spam tactical squads now and get three tactical squads in there, you would need two HQ choices. I, this changes your list quite a lot. Mm. Then you can go battalion detachment for three command points. You would have started on nine. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was the original list. Yeah, I've written and obviously with five well. up to gain back, you'll gain statistically three of those nine back. You end up with twelve command points over the game. It's a, it's a high number of command points, yeah. mm -hmm. and obviously codex versus index, you've now got stratagems, so you've got a lot more ways of using those command points now. Yeah, yeah. And with tactical marines, good. there's a couple of um, a couple of the uh, stratagems that you can use in there that tactical marines are actually better than other infantry. So, for example, the ones where um, I was saying, I don't know, Astartes in. Infantry can reroll one that's to hit. If it's tactical squads, it's any rerolls of misses. Yeah. So it's kind of like the really old doctrines to a point. Yeah. yeah. I never used the other one for the ultramarines, which is to, you know, move away from combat and then shoot. I don't think the opportunity arose. No. There wasn't any need. No, for the only big combat that happened was the Wraith Knight, and that killed everything. Yeah. I was surprised because by the time the Wraith Knight, the Wraith Knight was in my face on what turn two, something like that. Yeah. And I hadn't really shot at it. And I was, right. just like, I was picking, I picked things like uh, the Crimson Hunter because I was like, right, that's got lots of bright lances, I want that dead. Um, so I got, I knew I was going to shoot at that as soon as you placed it there, and that was going to be my focus. But um, by the time the Wraith Knight was there, ready to do its charge in the next phase, I think it failed its charge. It, it did. Um, don't, don't. It had like no wounds taken off it, had it? No, it and lost I, one, I think. Well, maybe one. if that. Yeah, and I yeah. managed to strip off the other twenty-three in that. Yeah. In that one turn. Which obviously in seventh, that would have never happened. That thing would have not, not that died. Armor, no. No. That no. would have that that thing would have wrecked face. Would have had visibility on it, wouldn't it? Definitely. Oh yeah, because yeah. I like to do that. I no, that's yeah. why John banned them. I forgot yeah. about that. Did I ban them? I saw that <laughs> when you put fortune on it. I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah, it's a mini it. kind of like it used to be, but not quite as good. Yeah, yeah. which is good. Yeah, of course. Um, but all round, I think that was a brilliant game. Uh, we do have other battle reports which you guys can check out, and obviously, if you do press subscribe, if you are already a subscriber, which a lot of you are, thank you very much, then you'll. Don't get access to these for free, huh? Don't watch any of the other Ultramarines ones because it doesn't show them off in a very good light. Yeah, but they're seventh. We they're seventh bat reps. We are doing eight bat reps oh, now. Oh yeah, Scott Gulliver finished and painted up on the weekend as well. Nice. Yeah, just we, for this. We know because we've, we've seen him. Yeah, he's just. I just saying. With hour, hour and a bit, they've been watching that. Yeah. So they're aware. Do you know why you've been watching Crown a bit? Because it's a Cause damn good bat the for the whole There you go. Game. There you go. Um, but that is pretty much it. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out some other videos. Bye. Wave. 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 It did hit. It's for me, look. It's not. More. It's not.